Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is part 2 of a tutorial and that's how to make your own A8 coasters. And to do this, the first thing you need to do is have a look at some examples of some A8, so different colours, different styles, um, yeah, so you can do them in all sorts of colours, pink, blue, green, jade. And to do this you'll need your polymer clay, now I'm using the translucent uh, polymer clay by Sonit, the link where you can buy this is posted down below and they also have different uh, baking instructions so make sure you've kept that handy so that when it comes to baking you know which temperature and how long for so when we open the packet you can see it's really hard quite crumbly you just need to keep molding it until it becomes soft and you can also add a few drops of oil um, baby oil works best i'm using jojoba here and it should just become really soft and easier to kind of mold Next I'm taking some eyeshadow pigment and I'm just going to colour the polymer clay. So you want to really mix that in so it gives you a nice even tone. And then I'm left with lots of different colours and different shades. And then you just want to take your rolling pin and make them all flat. Right, now I'm doing the middle centre piece. So I'm just literally going to dab a little bit of my black pigment. And I'm just rubbing it into the surface of that polymer clay. And I'm just going to roll it into like a sushi roll type. And then you just want to start taking those rolled out strips and start wrapping around that middle section. So usually you want to start with something light and just kind of layer it up until it goes into a darker, deeper colour. And you should have something that looks like this. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of corn flour to stop it sticking. And you just want to pat it down and just roll around the edges so that there's no air bubbles. And then you want to kind of give it a roughed shape. And I'm just taking my knife and I'm literally just going to slice down so you want it to be about just under a centimetre thick. The thicker you have your coaster, obviously the more stronger and more durable it will be. And the thinner ones will be a little bit more flexible. But as you can see, it's got a really nice effect. So that's what they should look like. As you can see, they all have a different design. They're all quite unique in shape. And then what you want to do is just pop them onto a baking paper and then you want to just stick it into the oven. So when it's baked it should look something like this. And you can see it doesn't dent or anything and it's become really strong. And then I'm just going to take a gold no varnish and I'm just going to outline those edges. Um, as I mentioned in my marble video, if you have gold paint, it's a lot better than no varnishes because some no varnishes contain acetone, which can kind of dissolve the polymer. But if you don't have it, no varnish is a good enough quick fix. And then I'm just painting it over with a little bit of gloss to give it that really, really shiny finish. So I hope you guys like this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed hit that red button and I'll see you guys in my next video.